Good morning from Montana. Excited to see you all. I can't believe I've almost burnt through my battery today. I've got the backup pack. Um, so just waiting here for a second for Kelly Hoover to hop on and join us. You know, she is a former pharmaceutical sales rep and an incredible person. Here she is. And I am excited. Hi. Hey, Kelly. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? So good. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. How's our sound, everyone listening? Can you hear us okay? We've had some issues here on Facebook. And so, yeah, we, we did a practice run earlier today, and it went pretty well. We had some <laughs> echoing issues, but all in all, pretty well. So welcome, everyone, to your Monday motivation. Um, Kelly and I are top, top leaders in the network marketing space with a company called The Bell, closing in on $2 billion in online orders. In fact, the team that we are part of just announced last night that we hit $1 billion in online orders in just five years. Amazing. Whoa. So incredible. And our team, I'm proud to say, is a huge, huge, huge part of that number. So congrats to all of you. And tune in to these Monday Motivations because we're going to be sharing uh, the journey. The journey of going from really the depths of despair. All of us can relate to that, right? The long, dark night of the soul to um, having the vision and sticking with it and overcoming the challenges and the adversity. So sit back with your favorite greens drink. We prefer Boost. And or maybe you want to grab a cure full of polyphenols and antioxidants. Incredible for, for stress, incredible for energy. Um, and just sit back and enjoy the conversation because I'm really excited to introduce you all to Kelly. Like I said earlier, she is a former phar pharmaceutical sales rep, and I'm going to guess you had a six-figure salary. Then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought so. Um, she walked away from that for this. In fact, we also have her sponsor, Amber, on with us as well. She, too, was in, was she in the same company as you? We started out in the same company, but she had left and went to another company, so. Oh, okay. Very good. Well, that's how you met. So, you all, um, if you're catching the replay, please type replay. Uh, we love to do a giveaway every Monday with these live interviews. So anyone who likes, comments, shares will be entered into the giveaway. And so don't be shy and go ahead and grab your team members. You can share this video with them. They can catch the replay if they're working today. And let's dive right in. Kelly, tell us how many months now is it that you have earned your car bonus? I have earned my car bonus for 30 39 months, car number one, 39 months, which is incredible. I'm on my third Cadillac car. Wow. Yes. Wow. Which, which model? So I have a um, six-month-old 2018 Cadillac Escalade. Whoa, so fun. So fun. Incredible. It's well, <laughs> I got to tell you all, my exciting news, um, Saturday night, I decided to buy my next Lavelle vehicle. Um, which I have now been earning $1,600 monthly car bonus towards. And so I, um, I was telling Rob, isn't it incredible that we can go shopping for a vehicle online and do the deal all over the phone and online? Like, I don't even have to go to the dealership because guess what? I don't have a Mercedes-Benz dealership in my town. I, <laughs> so I was like, you have to we travel have for that. <laughs> Right? I have to travel. Anyway, Rob is so sweet. He's going to return my Lexus in Spokane and pick up my new vehicle this week. So yes. pretty exciting, exciting times. Um, so back to you, back to you. Tell us a little bit about your story. What, um, oh my gosh, what even motivated you to get started with your Thrive Experience? And briefly share with everyone what is the Thrive Experience? Yes. So um, I have spent my entire career in uh, medical sales, the pharmaceutical industry, worked in lots of different places, an extreme passion for helping other people. Um, why I personally started my Thrive Experience is I was overcoming some health challenges. I was in a place where I had a gazillion glass balls in the air, and I wasn't uh, showing up every day to be the best image that I had in my mind I wanted to be, right? I'm a mom. Um, I work 50 to 60 hours a week. My husband travels a ton. And so I was worn out. I ate healthy. I exercised, right? So I'm doing everything that I thought I should be doing. I was taking care of myself. 
But yet I was tired in the afternoon. I was impatient with my mm. children when I got home. I didn't sleep great. Um, a lot of times my alarm clock would go off and I would not get up and go to the gym because I wasn't overly motivated because I was tired, worn out, exhausted, and stressed. Okay. That was me in the summer of 2015. Um, I decided wow. to start my Thrive experience because I saw someone raving about how great they felt. Amber, my friend, <laughs> um, my former colleague, we was raving. And I was like, oh, if I can get a piece, just a little, I don't need a whole what she's got, but I just need a little, then it would be great. Um, right. Super skeptical <laughs> about the three simple steps, you guys. <laughs> And I will tell you that the, the reason I was skeptical is because it sounds too good to be true. It just did. Mm. When something sounds that way in my mind, I'm like, oh, sure, vitamins are not going to do that. But I also was like desperate and thought, like, what do I have to lose? Like, if I get a piece of what she's saying she has, then, then that would be really good. I would be super happy with that. So I started my driving experience in August of 2015. Just with, with the anticipation, I was going to do it for 30 days. I thought I was going to do it for 30 days. The first thing I noticed was how simple it was. I'm putting premium raw grade nutrition into my body. And as a busy, busy woman, I could keep up with it because it was easy. Um, I took my capsules first thing in the morning. I followed it later by a lifestyle mix that I choose to mix with water. Super easy. And then I put on my DFT patch. Today I'm wearing black label. Uh, we have so many to choose from, but I knew I was doing something good for my body. I started it and I was blown away with, with how bad I actually had been feeling. I really didn't realize it. Um, it changed my life. It changed how I felt every day. I began to feel younger. I began to feel more vibrant. My relationships with my children, I showed up every day being a better version of me. That image that was in my head that I wanted to be mm -hmm. as a mom, as an adult, as a wife, like that image was actually showing up in my life every day. And I was literally wow. blown, blown away. Um, I'm so glad you trusted Amber. Yes. So, I mean, for everyone watching, who felt like Thrive was too good to be true? Who had given up and just kind of resign themselves to, well, I guess this is how it feels to turn 40. I mean, that was me. I was turning 40 and totally dragging through the day, often finding myself in tears because I was snapping at my kids and rude to my husband. And then I felt guilt and shame and something had to change for me. So if you relate to that, drop the little wave or um, say me in the comments, because I think this is a, something that you know, a lot of times people will look at those who have become highly successful in Lavelle and they will think they had their shit together from the beginning. And the truth is some of us put on that mask and we looked like we had it together to the world, but we didn't. Amen. A lot of tears, right? So, okay. So you started to feel better taking the Thrive Experience. Oh, and let me just remind our viewers who are just joining us. If you like, comment, or share, you will be entered to win our giveaway. We do this every Monday. So click subscribe at the end of the video. I'll be featuring our, our top income earners here. Those who have overcome adversity and, you know, built the life of their dreams and yet still have struggles and challenges. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what did I look like an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> you looked beautiful. <laughs> oh, no. She was like, you've got an hour to pull it together at least. <laughs> Get together, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, so share with us, share with us. Um, what, as you started to build this vision and belief for yourself that you were going to build a new career path with Lavelle, what sort of challenges mentally or in your circle of family and friends did you have to face and overcome? Um, so many challenges. And I love the fact that you brought up, like, I love, like, don't ever compare, A, don't compare yourself to people, but don't compare your, th you know, my three-year journey, your four-year journey to your month one or your first six months, because right. th there's been a lot, there's been a lot of adversity to overcome. The first thing I will say is the adversity of not knowing what I was doing. I had never done direct sales. I had never been a network marketer. I wasn't even a Facebooker, okay? Like, I didn't mm -hmm. post on social media. All my friends I knew very, very well. Um, I didn't like to put very, very private life. Like, that was the first thing I had to overcome was 
like mm-hmm. being open and being vulnerable. I am not good at being vulnerable. I am not good at, um, you know, le- letting the cat out of the bag of where I was failing in life. And so I had, like, I had to show up. I had to let people know that I was struggling before this product. And then I needed to let people know what this product was doing for me. Cause guess what? They were feeling the same way, whether they were, they were verbalizing it or not. So Overcoming Mm -hmm. adversity, the first thing that comes to my mind is truly like being a sponge, being, being able to learn, being able to realize that I didn't know, but other people did. And, um, you always say leaders are readers and leaders are also learners. And I knew, I didn't know what adventure I was about to go on. I didn't know that, um, that all this amazingness was going to happen, but I knew I loved the product. And I knew I loved what it was doing for me. And I knew I loved helping other people. And so that is really, truly where it started. It's like opening up my mouth and sharing and being able to help other people and having the adversity of learning, learning from other people who had paved the road ahead of me. So in other words, humble thyself, (laughs) right? Absolutely. I mean, same. And who watching had to humble themselves to really become the, the, the person who learns and then can teach. Um, and also, I'm curious because you brought this up, leaders are readers. You all type that in the comments, leaders are readers. When, uh, do you remember, what was the first pivotal book that you read in your journey to financial freedom? Oh, gosh, there are so many books that... Um, I do believe I started out with some basic network marketing books. GoPro was one that I read, but I will tell you Mm -hmm. what has changed my mindset. And I have read and listened to the 10 X role. Um, I don't even know. I mean, I could probably like recite it. I've listened to it because it's so So incredibly motivating and that's how I want to live my life. Like I want, Mm -hmm. I don't know what tomorrow brings for me. So I want to show up today being better than I was yesterday. And I want, Yes. everything in life, my love, my, you know, my ability to help people, my passion for any and all, like, that's what I want to do. And so that book, probably the 10 X was, has been the biggest mindset motivation for me. Yes. And you also read the big leap, right? By Gay yes. Hendricks. Yes. Love that too. <laughs> any takeaways from that book? Oh my gosh, I haven't read that one in probably seven or eight months. So no, I mean, no, no key takeaways specifically, but I just think that the idea of just being open to it, I I wasn't someone who enjoyed reading, um, but open to learning. And I still think Mm -hmm. even Elise, you know, what motivates me now is I still learn. Like, even though I'm three years in this and I've been a top leader for almost two years, I still am learning. When I show up yeah. and I'm getting the same, like the same outcomes and situations, then I realize I need to learn and to do something different, right? It's mm-hmm. that, that term, like insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over again with bad results. Yeah, totally, right? Well, okay, so because I did mention that book, The Big Leap, and you said, oh, I can't remember. I know I put you on the spot with that. But for anybody watching this, that book will dive in with you on where you self-sabotage as you reach the next level of success. And because a lot of times we have this subconscious set point of what we deserve in life. Mm -hmm. And so if we're not aware that we're going to reach that set point, that upper limit, and we may self-sabotage, you know, that book will help you reach work through that. If you have found a pattern in your life of love and falling apart or money and falling apart, like if there's a pattern, that's your book. Okay. So Kelly, um, let's see, walk us through, like, what does a success routine look like for you each day? Yeah. So, um, success every day, number one in just life in general, whether it's business, whether it's personal is yeah. Like I am a huge goal setter, not only long-term goals, like where I envision myself, my vision board five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, but what does that look like in 12? months, six months, three months, in a month, in a week, and today. And I think the biggest thing, what what plays a big role in my everyday actions is starts mm-hmm. with goals. So like setting my goals. And you guys were coming up to the end of the year. Like think about what your goals were at the beginning of this year. And 
yeah. still going after them. Where are you? Did you set them? It's okay if you didn't because you have an opportunity to do it today, to do it tomorrow, to do it in December. Um, but I think having them, making them visible. But here's the thing. You mm -hmm. can't set goals, right? Like you've got to have an action plan. And for me in my everyday life, that is my action plan. I know what my goals are. They're very, very clear to me. Um, and they're big. Some of them are audacious. And when I share them with some of some of my friends and family, especially if they're not thrivers and they don't get the vision, they're like, you're crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I am a little bit, but I'm a big dreamer. And my, my plans will show up in that. And so my daily life is executing the plan in place to achieve those goals. And for me, that is calendar blocking. Like I need to plan out. I am okay. trying to get a gazillion things done, like lots of glass balls, right? But by, by blocking those important things to me every single day keeps me on, on task. And so I show up every day. I wake up an hour. I have been doing an hour early before my children wake up. But this morning, I started doing an hour and 15 minutes because I said, you know what? Like, I have got a lot to accomplish by the end of this year. And I need 15 minutes extra mm -hmm. each day. So now I'm waking up at 4.45 yes. in the morning. I don't love doing it, but yeah. it's there. And so devotion, getting my mindset right, spending time on me, my heart, is the first thing I do every day. And then every day looks a little bit different, but it's always in that action plan to set up with those goals to achieve. Yeah, I love that. Love that. And also, I'm seeing the people comment about looking like you're crazy or looking like you're nuts. Let's be honest. Anyone that goes for a dream and steps out of the cultural norm right? The acceptable way of living life, meaning you have a white picket fence with a mortgage and like $35,000 in credit card debt, plus all of the student loan debt. And that's normal, right? Anybody who chooses to design their life and step out into the entrepreneurial space will look crazy. So first and foremost, accept that craziness looks like this, Kelly and myself. <laughs> and, and you, you, each of you watching, you, like that's crazy. That's success though. Mm -hmm. That's success. And do you want to define success for you? Or do you want our culture who lives in debt and basically on a hamster wheel with two weeks paid vacation? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be part of normal or do you want to be part of crazy? Yeah. So I, I'd <laughs> like to share this with you because I know there is somebody out there that needs needs to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I love that we are that kind of crazy. But here's the thing. Here's what's crazy. <laughs> From other people's eyes, two years ago, yeah. September, I walked away from a 15-year career that was stable. I, I knew my right. paycheck was going to be. I knew I got my three weeks vacation. I got my two weeks sick. Mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, I knew. But you know what I didn't? I never got to, to show up and volunteer at my kid's school. I didn't get to see him on the bus. Right. Um, we were living right. on two wheels, flying around all the time. I didn't have time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. The biggest, biggest thing that I can encourage anyone to do today is to know what you want out of this life, like to know, to know what it is, not go through the motions. Even in that moment as a driver, mm. like I knew it, I never knew I had options to not be a slave to corporate America. I didn't know. Right. I didn't know. I was stuck in the no. mindset and and the moment that I allowed myself to, to hear someone else's vision, the moment that I allowed myself to open my heart up to other possibilities and to use, use my personality and use the tools and use a product that I love, and I took that leap of faith and I said, there is no failing, right? There's no, right. this is what's going to happen and I will be successful and I will be a top yes. earner. I do not know when it will happen, but I will not stop until it does. And yep. I'm going to accept disappointment and I'm going to move on because guess what? There's a positive thing right around the corner 100%. and people thinking like in my sweet little small town, like you just don't leave a pharmaceutical job right. to do this. A hundred percent. I'm so glad. So I have to say too, when Rob left orthopedic surgery, the doctors he worked with were made fun of him. And we're like effing this and effing that, like you're such a fool and you're going to come crawling back to us for this job. Yeah. And he was like, ha, I'm like, he, by the time he had quit you all, 
in our first 12 months, we had earned our first million. So by the time Rob had quit that job and we had already just, you know, dedicated 12 months to Lavelle and really he hadn't yet come on as a big builder. But the crazy thing is in the amount of time that we had committed to this dream, and taken the leap of faith and helped serving by serving others and helping them achieve their goals and their dreams. Um, by that time, Rob had already, we had already earned in Lavelle what he would have earned in his career at the hospital. Plus that money each month was going towards paying off debt. So essentially you all, because of the way interest works, we were going to have to pay double the money we, we borrowed, right, for student loans. And then that would have gotten us to just a few years before retirement age, and we wouldn't have not had any financial freedom. And yet we would have been working the hamster wheel for our entire adult productive lives. I was like, what on earth? Like, do the math. He doesn't ever have to go back to that job. <laughs> like, that was incredible for us to have that realization that we, in 12 months, had created financial freedom. But how did we do it? We went all in. We did not feed the doubts. We fed the dream instead of the doubt because um, whatever you focus on grows. If you focus on the self-doubt or the naysayers, guess what? You will produce doubtful outcomes, right? You will yeah. not create the life of your dreams. If you focus, and you can hear it in Kelly and how she shared her story, if you focus on making it happen and learning and growing and serving others, you all, this works we know this works it's not like this is a maybe it'll happen i'll just see no that's not it because this product works and our compensation plan pays better than any other company out there because we are cloud-based and lavelle can pay out higher commissions as a result our promoters earn bigger paychecks yeah for their time right like like kelly could have chosen any other um home-based business Thank God she didn't <laughs> because she would have putzed away some years before she realized she wasn't going to make the big money there. I'll, I'll raise my hand and say, I did that for 10 years. I sold linens then I sold jewelry and I never made more than six figures, a hundred thousand dollars a year, which was good money in Montana. But I had this feeling there was something more. One of my key books, you all was think and grow rich. What that taught me, if you think about the title, think and grow rich. Do you see the verb grow? So you think it first and then you grow rich. And, as, and how do you do that? You, you um, name it and claim it, right? You set your goal. You set your date. I'm sure you had a goal date for 200K, didn't you? Yes. And you took, and, and then you broke it down. Daily action plan, yeah. like you shared yeah daily action plan, you must take the action that produces the results. Don't, I, what I think happens a lot of times is there are so many distractions, so many other people doing different things, selling different products, selling different business models to you that you may get distracted, right? But if you can set your goal, you can laser in, if you can follow the people that have shown you how it's done, and we know a lot of them, personally <laughs> and if you can follow those people who just keep putting one foot in front of the other who whose value is integrity and holding themselves to the highest standard if you can follow people like that if you can follow the people that are the dreamers the doers the positive thinkers you're going to become successful because you are the average of the five that you spend the most time with yes Think about that. Let that sink in for a minute. Type that in the comments. You are the average of the five you spend the most time with. So set your notification. We go live every Monday at noon Eastern time to interview top leaders who have overcome adversity like Kelly Hoover. Because we know that, that when you copy the mindset, then you can produce the results, especially with this compensation plan, you guys. Hello. Also, also, um, integrity, Shanna. Yes. <laughs> when you're building a home-based business, you might be tempted to do things and uh, possibly violate that integrity or violate your reputation or the trust with somebody because nobody's watching. You are your own boss. But the truth is, one of my prayers 
when I started my own business over 10 years ago was that God always convict me and hold me to the highest standard of integrity that I always line myself up with his word and what's true. Because there's a lot of things out there vying for your attention and your dollar. And a lot of people that would um, want to sway your belief. And I always say the evil one, he only reigns in what happens in our minds. So if you can block him out, you're unstoppable. You are unstoppable. It is no question. Yeah. When you tap into your gifts and you are serving other people, you are unstoppable. And if you don't believe that, then you need to tap more into the reading and the meditation. Because in the stillness is where you tap into that potential and you build that belief. It's like a tiny seed planted within you. If you don't nurture it, someone will squash it or pull it from the root. And so it's up to you to tap into where you're going to feel and experience the growth. And it's through relating to people like Kelly. It's through reading Think and Grow Rich. It's through listening to The Universal Mind by Kelly Howell and just allowing that expansion to happen and that belief to build that yes, you were meant, you were born and created for greatness. You were meant to lead others from darkness to light. We all are meant to do that. And that's the beauty of this business is we get to tap into our gifts and nothing can stop us. Once we have cultivated that belief and we have surrounded ourselves with the people who have that deep level of belief and that highest level of integrity, you all, that's the formula for success. Well, and at least as I'm sitting here listening, it's the thing is, is it's like a lot of people may be thinking like, how do you get there? I'm not in that mindset as of now. So you guys, you have to be in touch with what is your mindset and what's going to feed it to be positive mm -hmm. and all the negative things that come at you, the people, the social media, the, you know, family, the whatever it is that you feel immediately starts to get you like thinking negative or, or somewhere mm -hmm. down, here, you have to block it out. Um, you have to make yeah. that boundary and you do not allow that whatever it is into your space and you have to be aware mm -hmm. of your mindset and aware in, in understanding when things do it because I can guarantee you Elise myself every single person mm -hmm. that thinks this way that has that positive mindset you guys get hit with right. that kind of stuff every single day people being mean negativity whatever it is but Elise chooses I choose to not allow that to impact mm -hmm. us because how can we go right. and serve others if we ourselves aren't feeling positive if we're not feeling motivated but it takes practice and it takes awareness self-awareness of what comes out of your mouth and how you are reacting to people and what you're letting inside your heart and so you yeah. work on it every single day right yeah it's a journey I say you're either the captain of the ship or you're the ship adrift at the hands of the storms happening out there in the oceans all the time. You be the captain. You know where you're going. You've got your map. You know the formula for success. And it's the pos It's cultivating the positive mindset. It is protecting that seed of possibility within you. Yep. What you focus on grows. And so that's where these, these motivational Mondays come into play. Because if you're going into a Monday and you're dragging butt and you're like, I don't even know where to start or how to begin. First and foremost, I would do what Kelly does Get up a little earlier, feed your mind, tap into what is true with a capital T and write down your goals. You should write down your goals every single day, every single day, yeah. because what you focus on grows. If you're not writing down your goals, if you're not self-aware of your emotional triggers and where, where you get derailed and you throw a baby fit, I call it, <laughs> where you're like, where you want to be like, well, screw this and this doesn't work. And, and you make, then you start to catch yourself making excuses for why you're not succeeding. Like, oh, it's the economy. Oh, it's my friends. Oh, I don't know anybody. Oh, I don't have that education. Oh, I don't have that background. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. You all, that's where you've got to start to take ownership of the life you are creating because what you focus on grows what you think about will come about and if you're allowing yourself to spin off into emotional derailment guess what there goes your business it will follow suit there goes the people that look to you for leadership they will follow your lead whether it's up or down doesn't matter 
what you focus on grows, what you feed your mind will create your results, right? Okay. And that taps into self-care as well, because a lot of people will get on the hamster wheel of busy, 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 and they won't do the personal development. They won't take a walk. They won't go have fun with their family and they burn out. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself getting easily frustrated or emotional, or angry, or blaming, oh, it's my team, or oh, it's my spouse doesn't support me, or my family, or I don't even know. There's so many excuses, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, that is a sign that you are not prioritizing you. Yes. Self-care is essential for success, because you cannot pour from an empty water pitcher. So true. So true. Right? So, in closing today, our challenge for you is commit to writing down your goals every single day. Commit to having the awareness of where is your emotional roller coaster throughout the day. And yes, you can shorten the derailment. <laughs> you can get back on track real quick. Yes. But you've got to take ownership and empower yourself to do so. If you don't have the awareness first, how will you get back on track? Right? How will you serve others? How will you reach out and share about a product that has changed your life if you are beating yourself up emotionally for whatever reason, right? Or you're blaming somebody else for the lack of results for whatever reason. So yeah. you're writing down your goals. You're having the awareness of the emotional roller coaster. <laughs> and finally, what would be your final challenge for them? I think don't quit. Like, don't yeah. quit wherever you are right now. Um, make today in this moment, when you get off of this video, when you get done watching the replay, make it the, the first new moment and don't quit. Feed your mind with positivity and go after it because the mm -hmm. only way you will not achieve whatever your goals are in life is if you give up, you blame others and you quit. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. You've got to have the tenacity. You've got to go after it, but you got to go after it smart and take care of yourself and take care of the around you. Take care of your mind and your heart, feeding it with positive things. So awesome. I love it. All right. Now in the, in the comments below, please type one of your favorite takeaways from Kelly. So she shared so many incredible golden nuggets today. Type your favorite. We, she and I will come back and interact with you in the comments. We're so excited to see what your takeaways are and do those three challenges. Okay. And then get into action every single day. Focus on your personal business. Focus on feeding your mindset. Focus on that emotional roller coaster to even it out instead of being up, down, up, down. Yeah. And realize that you have the ability to take back your power. You get to be the captain of your ship in this life. That's your gift. And we all have that. So I thank you, Kelly, for your time today. I hope everyone enjoyed this interview. We will come at you live again next week at the same time, same space. But next week we'll be with Beth Graves. And that will be an awesome interview to join in. So set your reminders or click subscribe on this video. And don't forget, everyone who likes, comments, or shares will be entered to win our weekly giveaway. So we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye. Thanks again, Kelly. Love, Love you. Mwah.